right, we want to go now to the political component here and chief congressional correspondent Nancy Cordes. Nancy, uh, when do we expect the Senate to begin holding hearings for a nominee once we hear who that is? And when should we expect a vote? Well, Margaret, most of the senators and aides I've spoken to this weekend expect that Republicans will try to get the ball rolling right away and perhaps hold confirmation hearings for the president's nominee before November 3rd, before the presidential election. The question is whether they'll try to hold a final vote on this nominee before the election as well. The average length of time from nomination to confirmation for a Supreme Court justice is about 70 days, and there are only 43 days between now and the election. So it's a very tight squeeze. But there are 105 days, 104 rather, between now and the date that a new Congress is sworn in. That is really the cutoff date. So there is some wiggle room there. Republicans could push this through in a lame duck session, although you can just imagine the uproar if the president loses the election and yet his nominee is seated on the Supreme Court, or if mail-in ballots are still being counted for weeks after the election, and that's when all of this comes to a head. Nancy, are, is the bottom line that Senate Democrats are completely powerless to put the brakes on this? There is very little that they can do procedurally, Margaret, to slow this down or stop it. All they can do is try to put public pressure on Republicans encourage protests. Already two Senate Republicans have said that they want to slow things down, wait until after a new president is chosen, Susan Collins of Maine, Lisa Murkowski of Alaska. But it is very difficult to see right now who the two other Republicans are that would join them that would be enough to stop this vote. And so you heard Chuck Schumer, the Democratic leader, say to his colleagues yesterday that he may retaliate next year if Republicans go ahead with that. But that only underscores how little he can do right now. Nancy Cordes, get ready. You're going to be busy. Thank you very much for your insight. <laughs>